And we are here, we are here. Good morning, guys. Sorry for the air conditioning. It's super hot here in Orlando. I'm starting off the weekly vlog. Okay, well, this is just gonna be a few days in my life because I don't have any footage for Thursday. Um, my filming schedule and all of that is kind of all whacked out and the vlog that you're seeing on, well, the vlog that you watched Tuesday, if you saw that vlog, it was like the crystal one. Um, that was filmed on Sunday. I'm wearing the same thing, by the way, because it's just easier to pack. Um, and it wasn't too dirty, so. Anyway, yeah, so I'm just starting off the vlog. Went to cycle or spin class this morning. My hair is like crazy. I'll put uh, my dry shampoo in it when um, I get to work because it's still a little sweaty. I know that's kind of gross, but you know, comes with the price of working out in the morning. Um, so I just use the Living Proof dry shampoo and I keep this in my car because it's just more convenient to have in here than like in my bag and stuff. Um, I got my coffee. This is my order. I'll just show you guys so I don't have to like say it, but it's just iced coffee. And this is like four bucks, so it's not too bad. Iced coffee is so much cheaper than cold brew, which is good because I was just so expensive even for like the little version. So I guess basically what I do now is I go on Instagram for like 15 minutes and then I head to work because it's 8.13 and like I like to get to work, you know, around nine obviously. So that's what I'm gonna do, a relaxing morning with a coffee after spin class. It's like, this is like probably my favorite time of the day because after you get out of spin, you just feel so good. Like whatever you, whatever that chemical is in your brain that releases during like workouts and stuff, you're just feeling good. And coffee on top of that just makes the morning so relaxing. So yeah, this is definitely my favorite part of the day. And when I go to the earlier class, when I go to like 5.45 AM, it's even more peaceful because I have more time to just like play on my phone, sip my coffee before work. It's the best feeling, best part of the day. Done with work, on the way home, and I thought I would just pick up the camera and say hey. Um, today was good, pretty chill day. I'm gonna get gas because we're almost in a quarter of a tank. And luckily gas has gone down a little bit, like now it's $4. So I'm gonna post on Instagram and see how much gas is like where you guys live because I'm actually really curious. I just wanna see. Um, and tonight we're getting five guys because it was so funny when I was with Perry, um, I had dinner with my cousin the other night and I was like, I was gonna suggest five guys cause like I've been kind of craving that but she's a vegetarian so I'm like, I don't wanna be inconsiderate. And then she was like, oh, we have five guys like, you know, kind of like every other week sometimes and I'm all like, oh, wow. Cause they have a vegetarian burger, I think. A veggie burger of some sort. And so that's what she gets and her boyfriend, obviously he eats meat. So I was like, oh, okay, then <laughs> never mind. We'll do that next time. So um, it's a very big treat getting this. Um, Sherry was like, we just didn't know what to eat. And I've had like salad and turkey for like the past like three nights. So I'm like, I kind of want something else. And I've been, since I've been craving Five Guys, that's what we're gonna have. So yeah, I'm gonna end this chitter chatter clip now. And hopefully I don't forget to vlog the food. The next day. Okay guys, it's the next day. I did not get a clip of the food, but I did get a clip inside Five Guys, so that counts for something, I guess. I am going to head into Cycle Bar now. It is 5.37 and I am so tired. Yesterday, I got in third place, like in the class, which I'm kind of happy about because I've been like kind of just taking it easy at these classes somewhat. Uh, but today I think I'm gonna take it easy, even though this is like a performance ride. I'm just like, just feeling like taking it easy because I want to like 
have like so much fun tomorrow because my, tomorrow is my 100th ride okay this entire vlog is literally just me in my car but it's fine I'm gonna get starbucks now because i was like chatting with my friend because she works at the cycle bar and stuff so we just like chitter chatter when she like does all of her things that she needs to do it's 7 42 and just gonna chill out there's these like really cool bags that they give well they don't give them to you but you can take one and I like putting it here on the seat so I can put my sweaty clothes there but um yeah that's pretty much the update it's always like fun getting to like catch up with friends and stuff I don't have anything else to say sorry this vlog's kind of boring but yeah oh wait I did want to mention something because like it is so hard to like vlog and have full-time job and stuff and then like have weekends and have downtime so I hope like I don't know I just want to be honest that like I don't know how people do it that's why most influencers only do YouTube full-time and then their stuff is like better yeah it's amazing and kind of unfair not gonna lie uh, but I frankly I like watching real people like with real lives then you know someone like always getting on like private jets and like living this lavish lifestyle i do don't don't get me wrong like i do watch some of those like sierra and like gretchen garrity has it pretty good too like a comfortable life but i also do like the people that have normal lives so i don't know thought that was like i was thinking about that on the way here like i'm not gonna know what to film because like i have a full-time job and it's not like I just sit at a computer all day, you know? So, I mean, there's nothing that I can really like film for that, you know? So anyway, gonna get the Starbucks now and uh, just have my little morning zen. Got the coffee and got the podcast on and now we're gonna head to work. Okay, so I just got out of work and just when I think my life could not get any more boring. Something happens because I went to lunch with one of my former co-workers. She doesn't work at our uh, TV station anymore because she got this really cool opportunity um, as a podcast production manager. But we went to lunch today and like we're catching up and she was like, oh, I need to go to Target. Uh, is it okay if we like hit up Target? Because I'm looking for a new little like crossbody bag because her strap on her other one was like kind of falling apart so I was like okay yeah like I'm cool with that you know we had time so we go to Target and as you guys know in one of my other vlogs I specifically went to Target to look for a Starbucks cup keychain just because it was like kind of fun it was like kind of like a fun little hunt well it turns out that this Target had a Starbucks in it so when I was waiting for her to do her self checkout because I went first I kind of just peeked around the Starbucks and I'm like oh I don't think they have them um, and we start to exit and we turn around because we came in like one way and I saw these little boxes and I'm like what are those so I go up closer and guys I found the keychain um, so this is a green version and I first saw these on TikTok. So there's different colors and stuff. I don't need all the colors. Like this was like $10, but it's so cute. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need this. So I just grabbed it and I used my little app to check out. And she was like, I can't believe you found it. I was like, I know because she um, was like, what is that? And I was like kind of explaining to her. And I saw these on TikTok and like, I can't believe I found one because they're kind of rare. So every Target I went into, I would always like look for these little keychains. And sorry, the lighting's changing on us here. I'll just hold the camera up like this. So anyway, uh, found a keychain and it's so cute. And the lid actually comes off, which one of my coworkers tried. He was like, does this come off? And it really does. So as you guys can see, show you guys the cup so inside the cup looks like this and people I saw online were saying you could put vodka in here which is kind of true you probably could I mean I probably wouldn't but it's kind of cool to just see and like know that you could some people are saying like you could put a shot of espresso in there I'm not going to put anything in there this is a little top to the cup and as you guys can kind of tell there is like the Starbucks imprints or like 
little markings on there not a toy you know it has the Starbucks logo in there so I don't know guys I just wanted to share this a fun little thing because I think it's like super cute so anyway hope you guys enjoyed this vlog I know it wasn't like that entertaining but something exciting did happen and I thought I would just share with you guys so anyway hope you guys enjoyed make sure you give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye